Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video. And as you've seen from the previous clips today, I'm doing a DIY video of a floral slash flower patchwork hoodie. Basically, flowers and patchwork have been really in trend this spring slash summer, from ranges such as Gucci with the snake and the roses, and then Urban Outfit has been absolutely killing it with loads, loads of patchwork on denim, jeans, shoes, etc. And loads of you have been doing DIYs, but I'm going to do my own one on the DIY black hoodie. So for this DIY, you'll need four things. First of all is a hoodie. I chose a black one and it's from the brand Gil and it really doesn't matter where you get one from and this cost me £12, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Second of all it is the flowers or the patchwork you want to print on and it is these two I got here. I got these off eBay for £4.40 for the two. Pretty good and pretty good length as well. I'll leave the link in the description box below again. Third of all, it is it's honestly up to you. You can either iron them on, embroider them on, like so, or you can glue them on. Glue, I thought, was the easiest option, and this cost me £2.50. And then last but not least, you'll need some tape. Well, you don't have to, it's optional. Basically, I just tape down the positions on the hoodie where I want, obviously, my patchwork flowers to go. Anyways, let's get into it. So now we begin by grabbing both the floral pieces and putting them into position within the tape. Please make sure to get them the right way around. As you can see, this way is a bit of a dull colour, and this way right here is the right way around. You'll see the parts now where it connects. So this is for the bottom right here, this is for this little patch here, and this is for the top. And basically this bit's gonna curl around the sleeve here, so it's gonna be a little bit going on on the elbow. And same again, I want the, the big flower to be at the top. It's honestly your preference on which way around you want it, but I just wanted the big flower facing to the up way. And then this one positions correctly right into there. Make sure everything's placed perfect. Now that's done and these are ready to glue. So now step two is the gluing process. Basically you want to layer the pieces of tape on and then one by one you want to be unfolding the pieces like such like this and then basically gluing them on. So you apply the glue here, you can use this little spatula that came with it, spread out the glue. Basically you've got to be really careful and timely here. This bit will take the longest process of all as you want this to be really precise and you want it obviously to stick down. You don't want it to be, once it's washed then it's just going to fall apart. Now we are on to the second flower. This time I'm going to do it from the opposite direction. I'm going to start from the top, see if it makes any difference. Very repetitive process. Yes, you could probably do this embroidery like sewing it faster or ironing it faster, but I just wanted to try it out with the glue as I've never done something like this before. So now we've been leaving it to dry for a while. Basically a few of the edges are going to be coming up so you just want to keep going round and then just getting a few of these little edges are just still turning up. You want everything glued down perfectly. So right here you can see, just get some glue in there and basically just go around the whole thing until you think everything's perfectly down in place. I've completed my tutorial and basically as you can see there, this is how it's all come out, it's stuck down perfectly. Basically if you want to have some more holes, you can literally put a tea towel down and iron over the patches so basically it keeps the glue fully firm in place. The glue is also fabric glue so it's easily washable so if it goes through the wash it's not going to fall off. And literally I think it's turned out perfectly. I'm basically going to show you some clips at the start, a little lookbook on how I'd style this black DIY rose hoodie. Overall, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do loads of men's fashion videos. I'm going to be doing more DIYs, lookbooks, outfit of the day, shoe reviews, etc. So stay tuned in and hit that notification button if you want to know every time I upload. I upload one video every Sunday at 8pm and also another video within the week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.